my name is Melissa Zantopoulos. And I'm Rachel Wolega. And we're two of the co-authors of the manuscript entitled Physical Activity in Youth with Down Syndrome and its Relationship to Adiposity. Down syndrome is the most common genetic disorder resulting in intellectual impairment. Youth with Down syndrome are at increased risk of obesity and cardiometabolic complications. Reasons for this are not well established. In typically developing individuals, we know that decreased physical activity is associated with obesity, poor health outcomes, and cardiometabolic risk. We also know that ectopic fat, also known as visceral adiposity, is metabolically unfavorable, but it is modifiable with lifestyle changes. Understanding these modifiable factors contributing to overweight and obesity in youth with Down syndrome is crucial to developing interventions that interrupt excess weight gain and cardiometabolic risk in this population. In our current study, we found that youth with Down syndrome engaged in more light physical activity compared to their typically developing peers. Now, light physical activity are things that like activities of daily living and chores, so making the bed, washing the dishes, vacuuming, gardening, um, but also doing things like playing video games while you're standing up, playing an instrument while you're standing, or even doing art while you're standing too. Finding that youth with Down syndrome engaged in more light physical activity in our study, it's very encouraging because it can be hard for youth with Down syndrome to participate in more intense physical activities due to limited access to integrated programs, lower muscle tone, known as hypotonia, and persistent motor delays. While physical activity guidelines focus on 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous, figure, fig, moderate to vigorous physical activity, which means that your heart rate is beating faster and that you're sweating, the majority of our physical activity that you spend is in light physical activity. And we know that light physical activity is a key component in overall energy expenditure throughout the day. And interestingly, in our study, an increase in light physical activity was associated with a decrease in adiposity measures, which you, we used BMI Z-score and visceral fat. Sedentary activity, which is any activity performed sitting or laying down that's not sleeping, is independently related to increased risk of obesity and cardiometabolic risk in youth. We also found that youth with Down syndrome engaged in less sedentary activity than their typically developing peers. And increases on measures of adiposity were positively related to increases in sedentary activity in all youth. So the more sedentary, the more increased risk of visceral adiposity. The important takeaways from the study are that light physical activity may be an important mechanism to decrease excess weight and cardiometabolic risk in youth with Down syndrome especially given the potential challenges of increasing higher intensity physical activity for long periods of time. So physical activity interventions aimed at youth with Down syndrome may wanna focus on increasing light physical activity, again, activities of daily living or even chores, and decreasing sedentary activity. So decreasing television, video game, YouTube watching which these things may be more feasible for families and youth with Down syndrome. It's also a promising target for improving adiposity and cardiometabolic risk in this population. Overall, any activity is better than no activity.